Hey everybody, welcome to another review. I had some time tonight, so I decided um, to try something new. <clears throat> I was kind of surfing the internet, and I found out that Bitdefender released a antivirus called a, it's a free edition. It's a cloud antivirus. Apparently, they've been working on it for a long time, and I went and grabbed a copy of it. <clears throat> the only problem with it right now is that it's only available in Romanian because Bitdefender is a Romanian company. So, <clears throat> excuse me. So, this is what it looks like. You have to register and everything. It's fully cloud integrated. Uh, basically, this says automatic scanning. This is the files that it's scanned. And this is where you can, uh, if you click this, it'll open up a window and you can... Um, basically um, manage some of the things but it's all done through a web server so you have to go and log into the website and everything there's really not much to it other than that it's not a full security solution so you know it is what it is um, I see that they have this. I'm not sure what this is. GZ Serve. That's interesting. Haven't seen that lately. But we'll uh, we'll test it out and see how it does. I have some links. I have some files. And let's see what happens. So let's open up some of these links. Now they said they've really worked at making it fast and efficient, so we'll see. Alright, that was blocked by the web ser uh, web, um, web filter. Basically, basically says Bitdefender Free Edition uh, blocked a page. Oop. Same one. Again, I have a feeling it's going to grab all of those easily. No, maybe not. Far, everything's been blocked, and that one. So here I have a folder of 3,200 and um, let me turn off the active protection here. All right, just different forms of malware. So I'm going to let this unzip. It's going to take a little bit. Shouldn't be too bad though. And I'll be right back. All right. <clears throat> so let's turn everything back on here. And you can see if I go to properties, 3,216, five folders. And it's already finding some of them. So. So this is what it's found so far.
So I'm going to let it do its thing and I'll be back when it's done. Alright guys, so welcome to day two of the review. Um, I got a little tired of waiting for it to finish last night. So I just kind of paused the virtual machine and came back this morning to finish. It took a while to finish scanning because it has no signatures. It has to check everything online. But it did finish scanning and we'll see we have a leftover my wireless mouse has a uh, probably needs new batteries or something anyway um, so it left over 740 files out of 3216 let's do the quick math So found 77%. Now that's doing a right click and telling it to scan. Hold on, let me switch mice here. There we go. So there's a bunch of different types of files in here. And let's just think these are the EXEs. Yeah. Let's just run some of these and see what happens. This one's probably got some adware snuck in there someplace. If this uh, um, if this is ever gonna be in English, I don't know. As of right now, they have no um, no plans that I know of to make it in English. I really hope, but I think they left it on purpose in Romanian because they wanted um, to keep the market low. They don't want a lot of people to use it, and if they made it in English a lot of people would use it. So I think that's their, their reasoning behind keeping it. So a lot of these are just either being stopped or not working. Alright, I think that's enough of those. Feeling a bunch of them are open in RAM. So you can see it finds uh, a lot of these. So a lot of these um, are blocked right now. So that's fine. And right now, I don't think there's a way for it to do a system scan but I think my way around that is opening up my computer right clicking on C drive and telling it to scan I have no idea how long this is gonna take it might take a long time because it's not a very fast scanner but first before I do that um, I'm gonna run kill switch and see what we have in RAM and if we have anything using a ton of the CPU I'll kill it so we can get the scan going faster so I'll be right back okay so 
We don't have anything dangerous running in RAM. I don't know what these are for. Maybe just some leftover windows, but everything is... I don't see anything out of the ordinary in RAM, which is good. So now, I'm going to right click on uh, C drive and tell it to scan. So, you can see it's scanning right here. I have no idea how long this is going to take. Um, this little line here will start filling up with blue as it's finishing. So, who knows. Um, that new service that I saw, that I wasn't sure what, what it was, this Gonzalez, that is part of Bitdefender. That's the scanning service, basically. So, it's that's what it is. I don't know what it does. It's probably just uh, basically their service that they use to communicate with the uh, Bitdefender servers. So, this is probably going to take a long time. I'm going to pause the video and I'll be back whenever it's done. Alright guys, I'm back. Went and did some shopping and stuff. Um, I found a way to kind of get this to go. What was happening is, it doesn't, this <clears throat> free version of Bitdefender doesn't have an on-demand scan per se. You can do the right click and scan thing, but it wasn't working. It just kept stopping. It does have an on-demand scan, but it's not, it's kind of like an automatic one, where when you're not using the computer, it will um, scan every day, I think, the criticals, and every week it'll scan the whole computer. And that's a problem because I wanted to force it along. So what I decided to do is I decided to run Komodo um, Cleaning Essentials just to kind of go through the files and give um, Bitdefender a chance to look at them because whenever you access a file, Bitdefender scans it. So <clears throat> as you can see, it scans files continuously running in the background. So whenever I access something, it scans a file. So I'm not going to even look at the results here. I don't care what they are right now. I'm going to restart, and that should give a chance for Bitdefender to take care of whatever it needs to. And then I'm going to do a scan again with Cleaning Essentials, and then we'll see what it really finds. So that was my roundabout way to get Bitdefender to do a scan. I couldn't think of any other way to get it to do it. If anybody's got any better ideas, you're more well, you know, you're welcome to tell me. So now what I'm going to do is now I'm actually going to do the real scan with cleaning essentials and I'll be back with the results when that's done. Uh, in the meantime I'm going to go cook some food so I'll see you later. Alright so I'm back after a reboot. Um, first thing I wanted to do was run uh, auto run analyzer and see if it found anything and it looks like there's a couple of registry keys that um, are identified as malware. One of them is System Main Notifier, an MFCNet Helper. Um, that is some kind of malware. You can see McAfee identifies it as something. Uh, what else here? And it looks like, yep, so not a lot of people have identified this. Well, that's interesting. It's only appearing in four things. So that's actually real nice to see. So we're going to delete that. And we're going to search online for the next one here. And this is identified as Trojan32 Cryptic. You know, that is the one thing, like I've, I've said before, over and over again. I wish there was an option in here. You can see it's, uh, it's something's wrong with this thing. Vulnerability exe file, file name. Here's a good website to look at. Got some toolbar in here, too. See, I have a feeling that see this thing's not signed. It's a micro. Normally, the name is a Microsoft file, but this thing is something else. I wish I could get an SHA one or an MD5 or something. 
<clears throat> from it so I can actually do better research. But that's okay. So next I'm going to run kill switch and we're going to see if that finds anything. Oh yep, yeah, looks like we do have something in uh, in memory. We do have that file running. So let me delete it. I'm not gonna worry about restarting now. And now I'm gonna run a scan with CCleaner. So now I'll definitely be back when this is done. All right, guys. So I am back. And uh, I ran a scan too at the same time with um, um, Malwarebytes after our, um, I ran it with Cleaning Essentials. So we got both at the same time. So we have four things. Looks like this one is a false positive. So I'm going to report it as a false positive. Mainly, um, I bet you this has got to do with the way um, Bitdefender loads signatures in memory. It tends to happen. And we have a PDF converter uninstall.exe, some DP DPLYX DLL, and system main notifier DLL. And you can see Malwarebytes found that same. DP whatever that one is, it found a registry key associated with Fox uh, FoxTap PDF Creator, and it found that uninstall. So the only one it didn't find is the system main notifier. Just for giggles, I'm going to upload this DLL to Virus Total and let's see what it is. So give me one second and I'll be right back. All right, so the file is being analyzed right now, and uh, so far, 10 out of 18, 14 out of 30 has, have found it as malware. So, you know what? I can definitely say that this is some form of malware. So it looks like um, malware bytes missed that one. So did Bitdefender, as you can see. Uh, G data caught it because of S caught it. So. You can see, let's see, anybody else, Microsoft. So that's definitely a piece of malware there. So I'm going to apply these. And I'm going to remove these. They'll probably won't find some of them because they're not there anymore. I'm not going to restart. I'm going to restart when this is done. So I'm going to restart right now and I'll be right back. Oh, I did want to add that you see that the first time I scanned with Komodo, it found 12 things and that gave a chance for Bitdefender to go through the system. And this, uh, as you can see, the second time I scanned, it only found four things. So you can see that Bitdefender, when it actually had a chance to go through the system, actually got rid of a lot of files. All right, so I'm back here. So you can see everything says it went okay. And let's use the last of my testing tools. Uh, I got to get the right version of Hitman Pro. I accidentally got the. I think I might have accidentally got 64-bit. I'm not sure. I guess not. So that's all right. All right, so I'm going to let this scan and I'll be back. All right, and Hitman Pro didn't find anything. So, uh, find a review on Bitdefender Cloud Romanian free antivirus. It's actually not as bad um, as I thought it was going to be. It doesn't offer like some things like on demand scan and stuff like that for, for free cloud antivirus that can just run in the background. It did surprisingly well. You know, pair it up with a good firewall or something, and you have something to it. Hopefully, they'll release a version um, in English soon, so everybody can use it. Um, and that's it. 
you know, I hope uh, I hope they release it sometime. So that'd be interesting for everybody to try out. So that's it on uh, this review. I know it was longer than it normally is, and a lot of stop starts on my side, but that's okay. So I'll uh, upload this right now. Take care, everybody. Have a good one, and I'll talk to everybody later.